and then they're like, um, they're like, oh, you're supposed to leave at 8.30, no, not 8.30, like, such and such time when they gave me my hours already to work that I'm supposed to be timing out, and then she's changing it, saying I have to stay and stay there when they're there, um, and leave out when they leave out, I'm like... I'm supposed to be stuck talking out my time, the hour that you gave me, and then you're changing it, and you didn't inform me of that. You're telling the other co-worker this. Why can't she, like, just tell me that and put it in writing my sh hours, my correct hours, instead of freaking keep saying different things? Um... And then the other girls complaining about towels that I don't even do during the week. I don't do towels during the week, so I really don't have a comprehension of knowing how it works all together because I haven't been doing it. Um, she did show me how to do it, but I still don't got it yet because I haven't been doing that particular stuff during the week. I've been doing the other parts during the week like all the time and they don't let me do the towels during the week so that's why and for her to say like my child can comprehend better than you it's freaking disrespectful on her working there of her asking me how old i am etc it has nothing to do with the work environment my goal is going to work my work environment not you asking me personal questions like that and being rude and disrespectful of me not knowing certain things all together yet making ignorant comments like that you know talking about my comprehension level my my electrical mind or um, the stereotyping me That's what it is. Stereotyping. And this is what I have to go through working with these type of people. Being I'm a new person working there. This is why I wanted to find a new job like somewhere else that are more freaking patient with me or something. Like, okay, yeah, I have autism. I have like disabilities, I have PTSD, I have depressive or stuff like that. Like, why can't they be more understanding? Like, I don't know. She was like, the girl was like, yeah, such and such told me you're supposed to leave when we leave. I'm like, I'm supposed to leave at 7.30. That's my clock out. And she was like, I know, but such and such told me. I'm like, I just left out yesterday because I was freaking upset. And her comment, I just left out. And this is my clock, my clock hour to clock out and I just left out and told her like if you give me something in writing about my change of schedule then I'll leave when that time but other than that you're not just gonna just cause I have it in writing already when my time and hours all work I had the um the person print out it and stuff like that like and so I have to go through that all again process because I want to have it documented. Here are some Bible verses that can help God do deal respectfully with your co-workers. Ephesians chapter 4, 29. Do not let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouths, 
Well, not only what is helpful for building others up according to their needs, that it may benefit those who listen. Avoid engaging in rude speech yourself. Something I have to work on, especially with the one watching me, I just think like she's like something like watching me clean the men's bathroom is kind of like homosexuality or something. I don't know. Proverbs 15 1 A gentle answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. Respond to disrespect with kindness rather than escalating the conflict. Colossians chapter 3 verse 13 Bear with each other and forgive one another. If any of you has a grievance against someone, forgive as the Lord forgave you and practice patience and forgiveness rather than holding on to resentment. First Peter chapter 2 verse 18 verse 23 To this you were called because Christ suffered for you, living an example that you should follow in his steps. When he suffers, he suffers for doing good. Respectfully stand up for mistreatment while keeping Christ's example of non retaliation. Philippians chapter 2, verse 3, verse 4 Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit, rather in humility. Value others above yourself, maintain humility, and focus on serving co workers respectfully rather than asserting your own ego. With God's help, with these principles in mind, respond to rudeness in a way that maintains dignity and permits further escalation. Yeah, she was like, um, there was nobody watching me doing the bathroom someday. If that was a sign by the other worker, wouldn't you think that she would assign somebody to do watch me clean the men's bathroom for that weekend she's off, the other one? She's doing that out of her own timing. Cause she wanted to, to like be extra about stuff that's my whole thing like i did the men's bathroom on my own like every time she's not working so i don't understand like what the point of her keep watching me when she's working doing it just to do it to like be assaulting or harassing and stuff like that that's what i'm thinking because i already got the order of how i'm supposed to clean the bathrooms when she's working and uh, it's like kind of weird